welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name's Leonie, thank you for stopping by. So today's video is in collaboration with my favourite textured paint brand and that is Imperial Italia. Now if you haven't seen on my YouTube before or on my Instagrams then I am obsessed with this range. I have used them in basically every room I've painted so far including my bedroom, the spare room, my downstairs toilet and now today my living room because doing featured walls with this paint or even doing the whole wall it just gives something extra they look absolutely amazing so i'm going to be showing you a step-by-step -step guide of how to apply this paint it is super easy when i first came across it i thought it was going to be really really technical and hard but it is really isn't and i'm using the gimchi luxury range today I thought I'd just show you through the colour charts and some of the paints that they have on offer and you can choose from. Now first of all is the Gimchin range. Now I absolutely love the luxury range. I have my, all my paints in this range. So they have some absolutely beautiful coloured textured paints in this colour. And this also has like specks of glitter in there. But you can't really see from this light, but I will show you my walls. But they just absolutely shimmer in the sunlight. The like little bits of glitter just really catch on the walls. So I've used diamond in quite a few of the rooms. And in today's video, I'm using andelisite. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this one's a bit warmer than diamond. Comes out absolutely beautiful. But they have so many nice colours to choose from. So this is the luxury range with the glitter specks in it and the normal rain is very similar it just doesn't have those little specks of glitter again they have absolutely beautiful shades of colors here so much to choose from so next up is the Searlock range and the Searlock suede now these textured paints i would say are a lot less shimmery compared to the gimchin range if i can just get close up as you can see these are a lot more shimmery and textured. These ones are still textured, but I would say they are a lot more smooth compared to these ones, if you can see up close. So if you wanted something a bit more subtle, but still want to go for that textured paint, they've got a lovely range of colors in these ones. They just really just bring out extras on the wall. I love doing featured wall with these kind of paints, but these ones, yeah, a little less subtle. If you just would go for something a little slightly extra than paint, then these would be perfect. So this is the kit that you will need to apply your textured paint. So this is the application brush, and this is to put your paint on and give a crisscross motion, which I will show you later. And then you have your tobacco sponge, and this is to really dab and twist out your paint just to give it a really nice effect. You have your primer, which you'll need to put on first. And then you have your textured paint. Now for instructions, you can just peel the labels and it will give you full instructions of how to apply the paint and what you'll need to do. And the same with the primer, just peel the label back and it will tell you how to dilute your primer because you have to dilute this with 30% water. So it will give you a coverage, so 0 0.5 per square, 5 square meters, dilute by 30%. As I mentioned, you want to dilute your primer with 30% water. So this would either be 150 milliliters per half a liter or 300 milliliters per liter. You then want to make sure you give your primer a really good stir you can apply your primer with a standard paintbrush roller or any general paint brushes. So you need to let the primer dry three to four hours. So now this is touch dry and we're ready to go in with the bumper and that's to use the paint. So I've got my brush and I've got my paint. So what you want to do is you want to get a really good amount of paint on the end of your brush. You then want to go in with a crisscross motion. The 
after we've done our first section, and we do it by sections as we don't want it to dry before we go in with our sponge. So I've got my first section and I'm ready to go in with my tobacco sponge. And my favorite technique is to dab and twist, just to get a really nice effect, so dab and twist. And it just gives that really nice effect, dab and twist. So once that section's done, I go on and then carry on doing this in sections. So here is the finished result. I did the first application and I let that dry and then I went in with any touch-ups of any areas that needed it. But I'm so happy with the final result. Let me go in a bit closer. Yeah, I just love the way the texture comes out. Now this one is the luxury rose, so it does have glitter based in it. And you can't really see it now, but I'll show you in the morning when we've got morning light, but it just really shimmers and it gives it an absolute beautiful glow. And we're gonna have our TV on this wall as well so the light's going to really bring it out but i can't wait to show you what it's like with the tv and everything done so guys this is the finished result in the living room i am so happy with my textured paint let's go in close and see if we can get a bit of a shimmer how beautiful is this paint i just love those little specks of glitter in this paint it just really looks beautiful especially that morning light when it just hits it's absolutely gorgeous such a warm colour as well, just makes the room so much more cosy. I absolutely love it. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, whether you're someone that's deciding whether or not to buy this paint or you're someone that's bought it but a bit unsure how to apply it, then please give this video a like if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, it'll mean the world to me. Don't forget you can use the discount code LEONI10 to get 10% off your purchase of paint. And please do let me know any questions in the comments below and I'll try and answer them for you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.